What's up everybody, it's Izzy, and in this video I'm going to discuss strength standards, okay? So, one of the most common questions that I get, whether it's email or YouTube, is, um, hey Izzy, you know, I squat X amount, I bench Y amount, I deadlift Z amount, am I a novice or an intermediate, and which program should I do based on my lifts? And while this can make sense on the surface, it, it just really is not a complete enough picture for anyone to give you any proper kind of advice. And a lot of people just do not appreciate how tables, strength standard tables, do not work very well for individuals, even if they might work all right when you have you know, an entire population, let's say. And here's the thing, there's just so much difference between people that, that, that it's impossible to give you guys a good answer on, on, on what program you should do based solely on your lifts. Okay. I've worked with some, I, this is, I've worked with somebody who was uh six, six and 240 pounds and they started their linear progression, started their linear progression. Okay. With over a two plate bench, with over a four plate deadlift with over a three plate squat talking about Within the first few sessions of them lifting, that's what they did. I've also seen, you know, a 5'2", 5'3", male who was, um, you know, like 110 pounds finish linear progression well shy of a three-plate squat, two-plate bench, four-plate deadlift. And I'm using a really extreme example here with a big 6'6", male and a much smaller 5'3", male to illustrate a point. And that's that there's just too much variance in size and genetic potential and how hard someone's going to train, how much resources that they're able to invest for you to, to give somebody recommendations on how they should train based solely on their lifts. Okay, it just does not work very well in the real world. Um, and more often than not, I think people do more harm than good when they say, you know, all people should be able to lift X, Y, Z amount after their linear progression, or it's reasonable for all peop all males, all females to hit these numbers with this amount of training years. Okay. It just, it just misses way too much of the context, way too much of the context. And again, I can give you really extreme examples on this because I've worked now with the, as a coach with, you know, over a hundred athletes. I have worked with a wide variety of people from completely different demographics. And, you know, I've seen things like people getting to over a 600 pound squat from nothing but novice programming. Yes, I have seen someone in a meet squat over 600 pounds and the only program that they had ever run was a novice linear progression. I've also seen people who barely get over two plates for reps from linear progression that were doing everything right in, in terms of following the program, they had good technique, they were counting their macros. I've also seen that. So when somebody tells me, you know, what they lift and then they want me to give them programming advice, I'm really just making a complete guess because I have no idea how tall this person is. I have no idea if they're underweight. I have no idea if they've been doing things correctly. I have no idea if they're a low responder to training, if they don't have very good genetics for this, which is rarer than you would think. And I have no idea if they have amazing genetics for this, which can happen. You can find people who respond really well to this stuff. Like I said, I've, you know, I've had friends who have gotten over 600 pound squat and over a 600 pound deadlift from linear novice linear progression programs. So, you know, if they had come to me, you know, and they said, Hey, Izzy, I've got a 525 deadlift or whatever, when their deadlift was, was that. And they said, you know, should I do an intermediate program? And I told them, yeah, go do that intermediate program. That might have been bad advice because you simply you don't you don't know the whole story behind somebody when they come and ask you for advice and they just spew out some numbers at you. If somebody can give you a program based solely on knowing how much you lift, it's just a crapshoot that it's going to be appropriate for you. They probably are just giving you a random program to be honest with you. Okay, it's simply not that easy. And I guess the big point that I want to make here is that you really have to ignore those strength standards tables in terms of your programming decisions or in terms of, you know, like judging yourself for how well you've been progressing because they just don't work for a single individual, even if they're appropriate across populations. There's just way too much variance. 
So I can't tell you that you should have gotten further on your linear progression, or I can't tell you that it's time for you to move on from Mad Cows to Shaco or whatever based solely on your lifts. If, when somebody does that, when they just spew their lifts at me and ask me for programming advice, I can't give them any because, you know, again, there's just too much context missing. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? And I, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but the larger point that I want to make to all of you is that you really need to take into account the entire situation and not just go based on what other people have said is the amount that you should be lifting before you do this or you do that. In my opinion, okay, you the best way to determine whether, when you should do an intermediate program or when you should do an advanced program is when the program that you're doing is no longer producing results, okay? That's when you should really be thinking about changing programs. If you're making good progress and you're happy with your rate of progress, there's no reason to change your program, even if you have good numbers, but you're, let's say you have advanced numbers, right? But you're making progress on an intermediate program. Who cares? Like, who really cares? You're making good progress. So, it's more important that you're on a program and that you're progressing. Don't listen to people who say every male, every female should be able to hit X, Y, Z in this amount of training time because it's bullshit. There's females that are over six feet tall. There's females that are 4'10". I've worked with both. I've worked with a female that was 300 pounds. I've worked with a female that was 90 pounds. So how am I supposed to give strength standards to these people that make any sense? The, re the reality is, is, of course, that you can't. Anyways, I think I'm just rambling and ranting at this point, but it is kind of a topic that I find interesting because I do get asked this so often and I have to tell people well, I can't help you <laughs> with just that information. So anyways, as always, my friends, have a nice day and good luck with your training. Peace.